In this video we're going to make sure you have Git properly installed and set up on your machine before we move on in the series. So of course the first part is making sure that you have Git installed. And if you have the terminal handy the easiest way to see if it's installed is just by typing in Git and see if you have the binary. And if you get the same output as I do here then you know that it's installed. And if you're on a Mac or a Linux it's, there's a good chance that it is already installed but um, it might be an older version or something, so you probably want to update it anyways. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to just go to Google and type install git, and this chapter from the git community book is going to be the first result. I think it has all the information you need if you're on Linux, Mac, or if you're on Windows. And if you're on Windows, there's this project called git for windows and uh, you probably want to check it out uh, mainly because it also includes this git bash that you can use to type in all the commands that we're going to use during the videos. And uh, there's also a GUI, but we're not going to use a GUI. We're going to use the terminal, so you need the git bash. And then finally, you need to configure your local git install. You need to add your username and your email. And this is important uh, in order to be able to push to GitHub or Bitbucket. So the syntax is pretty similar to what we did when we added the aliases. So it's git config, and then we want it to be global, of course. User name, and the same with the email. And just to make sure that it all worked, you can take a look at the git config file. And we see the user information here. And here we see the alias that we added earlier. So the, the git config dash dash global command is actually just an easy way of adding a few lines to this configuration file. So that's it for this video. Now git should be probably set up on your computer. Thanks for watching.